VendingUK.net is a common sense system for vending machine management. In this presentation, we'll be looking at operator and machine management, stock and cash monitoring, integrity checking, stock and sales reporting, and the sales account interface. Vending.UK.net is suitable for all machine types and is flexible, low-cost, intuitive, and very easy to use. Let's first look at the operator's mobile handheld device. The operator's mobile device shows a list of vending machines needing a visit for each day. Visits are scheduled on the vending.uk.net system. Visits can also be triggered when the system estimates that stock in a machine is running low. Stock needed for the van at the start of the day is shown on the operator's mobile. By looking at today's visits and calculating the estimated sales for each product from each machine, the mobile will estimate the total stock needed on the van. Quantities on the screen are shown in case or box sizes together with the weight for each. The total weight to be loaded onto the van is shown on the top of the screen. Once the operator is on his way, the vending machine record shows the address and other important information on the screen. At the curbside, an estimate of the products needed for the machine is shown on the mobile device. This will help the operator carry the right amount of product from the van to the machine. The estimate is based on the average sales over the last three visits. Once the operator is at the machine, he records the stock level on arrival, any products returned, such as out-of-date items, and the quantity of product placed. The item price is checked so that accurate calculations can be made on the value of products sold. The system shows a needs quantity. This figure is based on sales of products from this machine and the amount expected to be sold before the next scheduled visit. At the top of the screen is the quantity left at the machine at the last visit. This serves as a double check for the operator to help him decide how much stock he should put in the machine. Placing the optimum quantity of product prevents overstocking the machine. Vending UK will operate with all types of vending machine. This screen shows a hot drink machine with a meter reading. Meter readings are entered directly into the mobile. This screen shows a loose ingredient. The reports can show the profitability of a, of a machine as the cost of raw materials can be entered on the system. Vending UK records the stock entered, meter readings and financial information, the value of any refunds and test vans as well as the total vans and total sales meter readings. If a cash box is collected, the value of it will be linked to this visit after a cash has been counted. Any mon money entered into the coin mechanism is also recorded. This mechanism shows four types of coin. If the coins on arrival and on exit are recorded, then exact checks may be made on the security of the machine. Once the visit has been made, all information collected is sent from the operator's mobile to the vending UK server. Cash will be sent to the office for counting. Vending UK mobile devices are Windows mobile phone or PDA devices. The device on the left of the screen is an example of a low-cost PDA. This will require plugging into a PC at the end of the day to synchronize data. The mobile phone device, shown on the right, will send visit reports immediately. Suitable devices are easy to find. They must run Windows Mobile 6.5 operating system, in the case of the mobile phone, or Pocket PC 3.0 or above for PDAs. The mobile software is available free of charge for a 30-day trial. After this, there is a low-cost license fee to be paid. Okay, let's look at the Vending UK server. The server is accessible on the internet from any PC anywhere in the world. We are going to jump ahead and look at some of the reports that are available on the system. Reports are accessible by clicking the button on the right-hand side of the screen. The first report is the Integrity Report. This is a powerful yet intuitive on-screen report which shows each vending machine and each visit with the value of sales. 
sales are the quantity of each product on arrival minus the quantity of the product on exit from the previous visit. The value of sales is the sales quantity times the price of the product on exit from the previous visit. In an ideal world, the value of sales would exactly equal the value in the cash box. The value in the cash box is shown on the fourth row down. In practice, there will be a variation due to the varying amount of money in the coin mechanism. This is shown on the third row down. The fifth row shows the balance of product sold less money in the cash box and the variation in the coin mechanism. This balance would normally fluctuate between positive, shown in blue, and negative, shown in red. Row 6 shows the trend. If the trend continually increases, then there is a problem with the security of this machine. Any theft from the machine is therefore evident. The detail for a visit can be seen by clicking on the date button. This will open the record and show the actual products on arrival, placed, and so on. Another way to view reports is by the visit report. All visits between a range of dates are selected. Visit reports remain on the system for 18 months. Detailed visit reports can be ex exported to an Excel spreadsheet for custom reporting. To view the detail of a report, click the Visit button on the right-hand side of the column labeled View. This is an example of a visit report. The screen shows the product quantity on arrival and the quantity placed and any items returned. The number sold is the number on arrival minus the number of this product on exit from the previous visit. The price is the price on exit from the previous visit and the value of sales is calculated from this. Product lists include the value of any VAT or sales tax, which is chargeable. And therefore, the VAT component for the sale is calculated exactly. The total value in the cash box is shown as part of the visit report. Vending.uk.net has the facility to export stock and sales information in the format required for SAGE accounting software. Stock placed in a machine and money collected from the machine are used to generate the audit trail and stock transaction files automatically. As previously mentioned, all visit information can be exported in Excel format to give you the flexibility to design your own specialized reports. The information exported includes product placed and the cost of products this, for example, enables you to calculate how profitable a machine or product is. Vending.uk.net also includes an invoicing function. If the machine is set up to include invoicing, then this report shows the quantity of a product sold over a monthly period. The invoice may or may not include the rental of the machine. VAT is calculated as applicable. Now, let's look at how you set up your system. One important point, on every screen in the top right corner, you'll see a speaker icon. Clicking on this icon will give you an audio description of the screen. You'll need to have sound enabled on your PC to be able to hear this message. From the main screen, the buttons under the heading Supervisor Functions allow you to customize your system. Setting up your account is easy and free. You simply enter a login name and password. Each operator and each mobile user requires a login name and password. The operator's login name and password is also entered on the setup screen of the mobile device. Entering your products is easy. Vending UK will support 10 different product lists. Each list can contain up to 800 separate products. Products shown if it's free of charge, the product name, the SAGE code, if applicable, for exporting to SAGE accounts, the name of the pack, such as crate, box, or case, for example, and the quantity in a pack, and the weight of a pack, and the VAT rate and cost of a pack. Cost is used in calculating profit margins 
on machines and products. Let's look at how a vending machine is set up. When setting up a vending machine, the address and location of the machine should be entered. Next, enter the visit schedule. The schedule works on a four-week cycle. Simply enter the van number in the box on the grid. The grid is a four-week cycle with Monday to Sunday and weeks one to four. This will make this vending machine appear on the appropriate mobile device on the day the visit is scheduled. The example here shows this machine will be visited by van one on week one Monday and again by van two on Wednesday in week two. An asterisk before the number signifies a non-scheduled one-off call. Above the grid is a line which shows on which days the vending machine is not used. In this example, Saturday and Sunday are normally unused days. For example, the site may be closed on these days. The system uses this information to calculate expected demand from the machine where no sales are expected on the non-used days. Written comments can be put on the record. These are shown on the operator's mobile as we saw earlier. Holiday closures are dates when there will be no demand from this machine. This is used in the sales prediction calculations. The products held in the vending machine are selected by clicking on the drop-down list. Each line on the screen represents a shelf in the vending machine. So the order of products is also a planogram for the positions within the vending machine. Depending on the type of machine, for example, snacks or hot drinks, the meter only and non-resetting meter boxes may be checked. If invoicing is applicable, this will be set on the form as shown. As previously mentioned, money collected from the cash box is counted and entered on the system in the office. This screen shows machines which have had their cash boxes collected. The operator records this on his mobile device during the visit. Cash values are entered on this screen and are added to the visit record. Vending machines can be searched on screen so they can be changed as necessary. Click the button next to the site name to edit the record. In addition, the visit report can be amended by a supervisor if necessary. One other thing, there is another way of using vending.uk.net. Returning to the main screen, we see the operator functions on the left-hand side. There are buttons under the heading Make Worksheets. Clicking this button will create today's and tomorrow's worksheets. Worksheets are printed from the main system by clicking the Click Here link. Worksheets are paper forms which the operator completes and hands back to office staff for entry onto vending.uk.net. This does not require a mobile device and is totally free, but it does have the overhead of someone copying the worksheets onto the computer each day. Vending.uk.net is available online and the site has a demo login button to show examples of the screens. Setting up your account is easy. Just click the button on the screen and set your account up free of charge. This concludes the presentation. Further information can be obtained on the website vending.uk.net.